Right, Benji, so here is the board in the, the armory here. I've, done, I've made this little wooden table, and this is our board, and here's the game pieces. So the first thing that happens in the armory is that you do an attack challenge. So if you want to do an attack challenge, I can pick it up for you here. So Benji, the first card I picked up is Scripture Memory. Okay, if you could memorize Acts chapter 1 verse 7. Okay, so I'm going to give you 20 seconds to remember the scripture, okay? Three, two, one. Start memorizing. Okay, time. If you could close your Bible, that'd be great. You have to now recite it, and I can give you five tips. But if I give you a tip, you're going to lose a point. So if you want to recite it, go ahead. It is not for you to know the times or the seasons, but the Father has put it in his own power. Well done. And what's the reference? Oh, it's Acts chapter 1, verse 7. Well done. You recited it correctly. So I'm going to give you seven points, seven attack points for that, okay? Fantastic. Right, so now we're going to move on to defense. Let me pick up a defense card for you. Okay, scripture reference. I'm going to read out a scripture to you, and I want you to tell me whereabouts it's from, okay? To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Okay, well I know it's New Testament, it's talking about the fulfillment <laughs> of prophecy. I don't know, I'm just going to have to take a wild guess and say, Yeah, guess. Gospel of John, chapter 4. Okay. <laughs> no clue, I'm not clue. Verse 2. Verse 2, okay. <laughs> no, it's it's Acts, well you got you got the New Testament, it's correct. It's Acts yeah. chapter 1, verse 3, okay. You only get one defense point for getting the New Testament part right, so... <laughs> Right. Okay. Now we're going to move on to utility. Through the spirit used to provide a card, the game master will throw each card on the table in random order, one at a time. You must name each fruit in 11 seconds. Right, so I'm not going to time it because it's your first time playing. Happiness. What's another word for happiness? Joy. Joy, well done. Okay. Something as a feather. Patience. Not patience. It's gentleness. Wedding rings. Love. Not love, it's faithfulness. You eventually get to learn these, so don't worry. Yeah. Goodness. What's goodness, well done. Generosity. Kindness. Love. Peace. Hospitality. It's self-control. So. <laughs> and then the last one. Patience. Patience. Well done. Okay, so five utility points altogether. Well done. For your first time ever, ever doing that, it's pretty good. Do you know you can get a shout out on our videos here on YouTube? Check out the description for more details. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically add up your points and work out what role you're going to play in the game. These are the different player roles here. You scored highest in attack with utility being your second highest. So you're actually the archer. I, I was hoping Sarah would be able to play with us, but she's not because she's with uh, our son. We played a previous game, so I'm just going to use those points that she had. Defense and utility. So defense and utility is the prophet. Okay, so we're playing the prophet and the archer. I'm going to represent you both on the board here. The archer and the prophet down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to fill out your player role sheet. And we go Archer, 7 attack points. So I'm going to stick this here on 7. You've got 1 defense point, And then you've got 5 utility points, which is here. Now we move into the actual game where we get to move. Archer, here we go. First, first thing we have to do is move. Here it says, around here, it says you can move 3 spaces. I'll move you 3 spaces. 1, 2... Three. You landed there, which means you get one utility point. So you've moved. Armor is here as you eventually get armor and you know get stronger, but you haven't got any yet. So we skipped armor at the moment. Challenge. Right, so now you get to choose again. You want to do an attack, defense, or utility card challenge. You basically need points here on the left to do these abilities over here. As this is my first time playing, which would be the best to go for in my current position? You could go for a utility card mm. challenge because that if you gain five points you can basically get this ability called swiftness which makes you move faster which means you can get up to the boss a bit quicker okay i need that so we'll yeah. go we'll give that a try great so we'll do um utility card challenge then so I'll pick this up for you question ask the game master to read out a question so what i'm doing is i'm using the facts of axe pack that i've developed for this game which is the only feast the feast of israel which involves leavened bread. Think, just think, we're in Acts. What's about to, what's about to come up? Feast of Tabernacles. 
Mm. No, it's the Feast of Weeks. A good guess, okay? So it's the Feast mm. of Weeks. So you've got five points. Because you scored five points, you can get swiftness if you want, which means you'll move an extra space next turn and you can't be slowed. Or you can just take those those points yourself, but you probably should take swiftness. Seeing as it's uh, my first time playing, I'll go with swiftness and take your advice. So this, so this marker here represents swiftness. We've traded. You can't do any abilities. As you can see here, I'm crossing them off at the top. So the final thing is boss card. At the end of each turn, you pick up a boss card. This is basically how Sin, this monster here, attacks you. Pick up this boss card. Trials and Tribulation. So Yahweh said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand, yet spare his life. Job 2.6. You lose all your health points except one. <laughs> okay. You don't have too many health points, so unfortunately you've, you've lost this one here. So there we go. You're down to one, one health point left. <laughs> okay. Okay. But don't worry, this player here, the Prophet, can restore your health points. That was your turn. Now it's the Prophet's turn. So the Prophet now needs to move. Right, one, two, three. He gains one utility point for, for landing there. Don't have any armor, so we cross that off. Challenge, right. So Benji, we'll just have you play this character. Because okay. Sarah isn't joining us today. Do you want to do an attack, defense, or utility card challenge we'll do an attack i think you should do defense because you can do fervent prayer then you can pray for the archer and that can protect them fantastic referring to the book of james okay yeah we'll do defense then <laughs> great fervent okay. prayer of a righteous man availeth, availeth much. much that's it armor of god used to provide a cause the game master will order the armor of god in front of you you must name each piece within 10 seconds. For every correct answer, you will receive two defense points. So I won't time it because it's your first time playing. Okay, so what's the first one? I'll pass on that for now. Okay, it's the, it's the belt of truth. And this one? Breastplate of righteousness. Well done. My mind has got blank under the pressure. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> These are boots of the gospel of peace. Right, okay, yeah. This one? The shield of faith. Well done. Helmet of salvation. Well done. The sword of truth. Sword of the spirit, but I give it to you. Yeah, yeah it's the word of God. Right, so two, four, six, eight. You get you got eight points altogether, so you're at eighteen points up here. This is awesome, by the way. I'm loving it. <laughs> That's I'm, good. I'm, I'm embarrassed at my memory at the minute, but uh, it's I can imagine playing this a few times, and it's really going to help you remember the scripture. It's going to help you remember, you know, the content of the scripture as well. You no, know, Sarah and I have played this so much that we, we do know all these things off by heart now. So <laughs> that's why that's why they have time limits because it eventually gets too easy. You need a, you need like a time limit. We haven't traded. We took all the points. So now we do abilities up here. You can now do fervent prayer. I'll read out what it says. You pray for a team member. On the next turn, they will not pick up a boss card. It can't be used on self because we've done this. It says here that we gain ten utility points. So we're at eighteen utility points. But we lose 15, so we're down to 3. I will get one of these. You demonstrate that you're not, not being protected by fervent prayer. Now we basically have the boss card here. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a boss card. This boss card is Love of Ease. No man who has put his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Luke 9:62. You leave the fight and wander towards the farm. On your journey, you get lost in the bubbling bog. Roll plus four to get out. On a plus four roll, it will determine where you come out. You suffer minus three defense points each turn you remain in the bog. Ah, so unfortunately, you basically got scared and left the battle. And you got lost in the bubbling bog. So you're stuck here. You are now stunned as well. So I'm going to put this marker here. So it means that basically the prophet can't really do anything until he's out. He has to roll either a four or five or six to get out. That is the prophet's turn. We're back to the archer. Right, so we're on movement. You got swiftness last turn, so you move four spaces this turn, okay? One, two, three, four. If you're moving there, you get one utility point. So I'm going to add one utility point here. Moves, yep. Yeah. Armor. Don't have any armor. Okay, challenge. Okay, get a tuck card here. The Ten Commandments. Use the provider cards. The game master will order the Ten Commandments in front of you. You must name each one. Thou shalt have no other god before me. Thou shalt have no idol before me. Thou shalt not bear false witness. No, do not take God's name in vain. So, ah, right, okay, yeah. So I'll flip them over, the ones you... Fourth commandment. Thou shalt rest on the Sabbath day. Well done, Sabbath. This one. Thou shalt not commit adultery. No, it's honour your parents. Okay. Ah, right. The first commandment we promise as well. Yeah. <laughs> Thou shalt not... Kill? Yep, don't murder, well done. Thou shalt not lie. 
No, do not commit adultery. Thou okay. shalt not, commit adultery. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's. No, it's thou shalt not steal. Okay. Yeah. Not steal. The second to last one. Thou shalt not lie. Yeah, thou shalt not lie. Well done. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not covet. Well done. Yeah, don't be greedy. Don't be a pig, basically. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's, he's really okay. good learning the symbols. Yeah. <laughs> They're throwing me. Got my what? <laughs> Six points. Well done. We didn't trade abilities. You're not within range, really, to do any abilities. Boss card. Okay. Now, because of your fervent prayer, you skip a boss card. It is now the prophet's turn, but he is in the slow of despond, as Pilgrim's Progress would say. <laughs> I basically have to roll the dice now to see if he comes out. Five, and he is out. Great. So he moves on to space number five, which means that the prophet gains one utility point for moving there. That's his move, no armor, challenge time. You might want to do another defense card so you can do fervent prayer again and try and protect the archer since he's quite low. Okay. Mm -hmm. The armor of God. What's that one? Sword of the Spirit, the Belt of Truth, Helmet of Salvation, Shield of Faith, Boots of the Gospel. Of oh, Peace, yeah, well done. Boots of the Gospel of Peace. Breastplate of Righteousness. Well done, you got them all. Right, so you've got 12 points. <laughs> you've now got 15 points. Done our challenge. We didn't trade abilities. Right, I think it, I think you should do further prayer again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You lose all your defense points and you gain 10 utility points, which means you're not at max. So now you have enough points to do the hand of Yahweh or hand of the Lord, okay? You can do this if you like. It says, you gird up your loins and run moving in extra six spaces. Each player you land on when moving gains five utility points. It's based off Elijah from the Old Testament who gird up his loins and ran faster than a chariot. So we lose 20, we gain 15. You're going to move 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. And you're going to land on top of the archer. And the reason is, is because it says they gain 5 utility points if you land on top of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now you've got enough to do an armor roll. So that means you roll the die and you'll get one of these pieces of armor. We'll do an armor roll for you. Okay, six, which means you get your boots. There you go. So you got your sandals. <laughs> On a four plus roll, you move an extra space. So each each time you move, you roll the die, and you could potentially move an extra space. That's what that, that's done for you. By the way, I've got some friends because how many people can you get in this? Is it just me at the minute? Well, it's it's a six player game. The thing is, is that you'd probably be waiting long long periods of time. Yeah. Because the idea is that when someone else is doing their turn, you're also learning. Yeah. Through them. And also, after this, I'll send you the starter kit, and that basically has the key, so you can basically learn the stuff before you go to the yep. game. So that's oh. sort of the stuff you can look up in between turns. I reckon we could probably do this with another two people over, like, on the setup. I yeah. think if you added more than that, it might be too complicated. But yeah, it'd be great to get some friends together and play it. I'm just thinking of quite a few people I know that, are, you know, once they get their head around the game, like I'm doing right now, I think they'd love to do this in their families. We're going to move now, so up here, move. I recommend moving here because you get two attack points. Okay. Let me just move the okay. screen. You get two attack points for landing there. So it gives you two attack points. One, two. Move armor. We've got no armor, as you can see here. Challenge. I recommend doing a defense because if you get five points, you can trade it for fortitude, which means you won't take damage this turn. Because if you take another, another point of damage, you're going to be out of the game. Okay. Could definitely okay. use more fortitude in my life. I'm going to read out a scripture, and I want you to tell me whereabouts it is from. Being seen of them 40 days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Acts chapter 1, verse 21. No, it's verse 3. You've got six points trade, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to basically get fortitude, so we'll trade five of those points for fortitude, which means you only get one extra point, okay, because you, you got six. Great, now we're at abilities. You can basically two shot or steady aim. You fire two arrows in short succession, removes one health point from your target, and the four plus roll will remove another health point. Your second shot can be on a different target. Benji, which target do you want to hit? Do you want to hit this one or this one? One on the left or one on the right? The one on the right. So this is now three goes. Okay, great, you got it. So where do you want the next shot to go. Do you want it to go on this one in the middle or on the left? The one in the middle again. So this is now two. And you can do it again if you like because you've got ten. So Yep, go ahead. Great, so we go down to five then. Do on the same target? Yep. So this is now a one. Oh, no, unfortunately we don't. Oh. One. But 
you can do it one more time if you like. So, because you've okay, got one more time, one more time. One time. Great. So you've got no more, and you're at max utility points. This target is now destroyed. Boom. Okay, that means you get an armor roll because when you defeat a target, everyone gets an armor roll. So I will roll roll for you to see which armor you get. Boom. That means you get you get two attack points. So you've got your hood, and now we'll switch to the prophet. Five. He gets his honey. Boom. He gets his one one defense point. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Abilities, and now it is boss card. You have fortitude here, so you can't take damage. Your boss card here. Snare of the sloth. As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the lazy man to the one who sends him. Proverbs ten twenty six. A tentacle wraps itself around you. The player is stunned on their next turn and suffers one health point. Okay, so it's a good thing that you took fortitude because you would have lost a health point and you would have been out of the game. But unfortunately, right. you are still stunned. That means you can't do any abilities next turn. So we can now remove fortitude. Yeah, that's basically uh, your turn. So Benji, that's basically the game. Yeah, that's it's fantastic. It's it's fun. It's challenging. It's you know I need to get with these kind of things and board games takes me a while to understand the different things going on but i'm looking forward to playing it again already so great i'm yeah. excited and i'm excited to see to spread the news about it because i do genuinely think a lot of people i know would love this kind of thing in the family a yeah. good wholesome game that's gonna teach people scripture memory families can have fun doing it as well so all right god bless brother god bless benji see you bye